today. Today is August 9th of 2011, and Jagex has updated the Grand Exchange and Edgeville. Um, Grand Exchange and Edgeville are both graphical updates only. They don't have any effect on how the Grand Exchange works, um, which kind of disappointed me. I was hoping that they would put like a lending feature or something. And um, as you can see, Verdock's a bit darker, and I'm going to go see what that guy in orange is. This guy is Ozon. Let's go see who Ozon is. I've got you now, thief. You've broken into the- what the hell? What's happening here? Alright, I'm not re- no, screw it. There's- that's one of those stupid characters that you go through a chat log, and nothing happens at all. So, um, as you can see, it does, there's not much change until you get to the front of the wall, and then there's huge change. And, uh, a part of this thing was to fix the lag that happened around Grand Exchange. I don't think they fixed it. I'd like to tell you guys that that memorial stone is not here. Somebody purposely died to make it look quote-unquote cool. Um, I do think it looks nice, although it looks a bit circusy for me. They've spread it out and put a big fountain in the center. And, um, they've put four of these little Grand Exchange booths over here. They work the exact same as the old Grand Exchange. Just click, and if you want to buy an item, that's a sell. If you want to buy an item, same thing happens. You click and you type in Dragon Claws. And then Dragon Claws come up, and then you look at the price. Hey, I've made 300k. I bought mine for 16.7 a while ago, actually. Okay, but anyway, um, they've added a lot of space, so it's a bit easier to fire make in here. Makes it good for the bots, but no, in all seriousness, it does make it easier to fire make. Um, another use that this could have is there's also the bankers right here. Let me go point something out for you guys. This is the fire making bot, Jello Prince. Everybody troll him if you see him. He's been buying fire making for the three times that I've attempted to record this. Skip following? No. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the banker. There's one of two things. He's been handcuffed in front of himself, as you look there, or he's hiding his boner. D j j I just had to point that out. That's what it looks like. So the only practical use that I could possibly come up with is a lot easier to go... There's big poles in the way because we're lagging. Um, you could go like make clay into soft clay and make some money by running back and forth because it's a lot closer. Or anything that you need to fill up. Like you could fill up your watering cans for fountain air for farming easier. There's still the tunnel here. They also added the big trees that were first introduced in South Florida. I mean South Florida. South Falador. I'm going to Florida next weekend, so I gotta pre record a ton of videos. And this is the third time I've attempted to record this because I kept saying drain ore and the first one I just messed up. So here are the trees that were first introduced in South Falador, also known as Florida. And uh, this thing doesn't have any use, it just looks like an old castle. This is the uh, smithing place that you use after the Verdock Diary. They've added these little plaque things, kind of more like medieval time, where they wouldn't have signs that say, like, Bob's Axes or something. It'd just have a symbol of an axe, because a lot of people couldn't read. So, there's, they put a clan cup thing that shows, like, the winning clans for clan tournaments. And they've updated the bank. It has a nice red carpet. Um, this weird weirdo is still here. Every, not much has changed in the bank. The only thing that I noticed that changed, if you right-click on the counter, it comes up as counter instead of, I think it used to came up as booth. So, just to take a look here. They've added some really nice roofs, as you can see right there. Down here, there's still Mr. X hiding behind what looks to be like a wine cart. And the update stops right here. It does not extend into the wilderness, which kind of didn't... It, I wasn't too happy that I, I didn't like the, I wanted to see some updates for the wilderness. I don't like this weird, like, fog black stuff that they've added. And the update also stops at this ditch. It does not extend over into the monastery. So, um, I'd give this update a 7 out of 10. It's a really nice graphical update in a place that a lot of people go to. But there really is no use for this. Um, they said they would reduce the lag in Grand Exchange. I haven't noticed a difference at all. Um, so they didn't really do that, unless I'm just doing something wrong, but I'm not. <laughs> so, um, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Leave your thoughts, uh, thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.